And now, C.H. Maslin presents Act One of tonight's Tale of Tomorrow. Appointment on Mars, starring Leslie Nielsen. Okay. Laughing, boy. Oh, okay, hey, okay, I'll take it back. Hey, hey, they're going to be able to hear you two guys all the way back on Earth. Hey, what are you doing inside there, anyway? I ain't got a surprise. Oh. Uh. Hey, Mo, come on out in the Martian sunshine. I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming. Oh. Gentlemen, you see before you in this little carton something I've carried tenderly low these many millions of miles. Thirty-four million miles, to be exact. I've saved it for this special occasion. But then, of course, I know that you two fellows didn't travel all the way just to hear me talk. Oh, sure. What's 34 million miles? Gentlemen, may I give you beer? Hey! Beer, beer for the explorers. Hey! Beer for the adventurers. Beer for the first visitors to Mars. Yeah, well, less right. talk and more beer, my friend. Break it up. There you Thank are. you, sir. Ah. Now, Jack. What? I guess I'm just about the happiest guy alive today. With me. Actually made it. We did what they said we could never do. We did it alone, too. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. Ah, all right, all right. So we were subsidized by Standard. Look, Morgan. Standard was good and glad to give us some money. They're going to get half of what we find here. That'll be plenty, too. Right, right. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys how I felt. Okay, Toast. The guy who got us here... Our good Captain Robert Mouse. Oh, 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 all we did was come to Mars. He's disappointed. Yeah. No, I'm happy about it. Don't get me wrong. It's just that... Well, it's kind of strange, that's all. Nothing here. Streets of rocks. There were no people. No intelligent life. Why not? That's what I'd like to know. Well, it's silly. This is Mars. You can't expect to find a life like our own. Yeah, he's expecting to find the green-skinned monsters. You know, Oh, Jack. sure. Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, the liar coming out of the mouth. <laughs> No, you don't understand me. Look, we're on a planet here that supports plant life, right? Yeah. Now, take a look at this. This is not an Earth plant, but it's comparable at any rate. High chlorophyll content, I'd say, carbon dioxide okay, consuming. Okay, Professor, no lectures, huh? All right, here's my point. Supports plant life. It certainly could support animal life. So what are you driving at? Why aren't there any intelligent creatures? That's what I want to know. There's nothing. Only the barrenness and the howling wind and the lonely plain. Just nothing. I don't know, it's weird. It makes me feel kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a poor bear. Okay. Listen, those spectroscopic readings said there are minerals out there, right? All right. What do you say we find them? Right. right, there ought to be enough out there to make old standard motors proud of us. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I don't think we're going to find any very large mineral deposits. Why, how can you tell? I can, I'm just guessing. After all, who knows what's out there? Mineral or otherwise? Well, we'll soon see. Well, look, ladies, I'm anxious to find out what's out there. You want to come along or you're going to stay here and dish a while, huh? <laughs> come here, come here. Hey, wait a minute. Now what? My rabbit's foot. I almost forgot. How do you like that? A superstitious science. Ah, it got us to Mars, didn't it? Uh, Bart, uh, I think the spaceship just had a little bit to do with it. I just don't know, uh, Betsy and me. We've been together, together a long time. Oh, my God!
All worthwhile. There's probably enough enough money in that one vein that'll pay for the trip ten times over. We can write our own ticket on this. Hey, wait a minute, the government's gonna be. No, 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 that's okay. We'll stake out a claim on it. We'll map it up right away. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's see how far the vein extends. There may be more. Maybe more than we thought of. Maybe the whole planet's full of this stuff. Start getting this stuff mapped out. Millionaire. No, Jack. I bet there's more of that stuff below the ground than we ever dreamed of. Enough to keep us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I need a cigarette. Good old Betsy. Now, what did I tell you, huh, Jack? You guys laughed. Yeah, yeah. You know something? When I was just a kid, I used to dream of the planets. Now, here we are on Mars. All this uranium. <laughs> it's weird. Hey, listen, Bart. Uh, you sure those tests were accurate? Huh? The tests, the one you made when you got here. You mean the atmosphere tests? Yeah, is the air all right? I mean, can we breathe it? Well, we are breathing it, aren't we? Yeah, is it all right to breathe? Yeah, sure. You're positive? Yeah, it's a little thin, but it's breathable. Why? Eh, nothing. Never mind. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? I feel great. Come on, let's go. Let's finish up. Make a mistake on those tests. Huh? Hey, what's the matter with you? I got a headache. I never had a headache in my life. I've got one now. Well, maybe you got a fever. I haven't got a fever. I've got a headache. I don't know, Jack. The tests are all right. Matter of fact, I think I got the figures right here. Yeah, you see, the oxygen content is. Look, I don't care about the figures. Why have I got a headache? I don't know, Jack. Well, something's giving me a headache. Well, you don't have to shout at me. Hey, shout! You're shopping just because you're tired. What? Maybe you're tired, that's all. We've all been on the go all day. Maybe you just need a little rest. What do you mean by that? Just what I said. For Pete's sake, what's the matter with you? If you're tired, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not tired. Look, I'm the strongest guy in this outfit. What makes you think I need rest more than you or Robbie, huh? I didn't say that. Well, that's what it sounded like. If you want to pick an argument, you just go find some other guy. Uh, I don't have to stand around and listen while you blow off. Hey, hey, hey. This, what's all the yelling about? Ah, Jack's just a little on edge. Though. I'm not on edge, I've got a headache. It's the strangeness of the place. <laughs> beginning to get him, too. <laughs> this planet. Oh. So, here we go on the planet again. I don't like it. I said it before and I'll repeat it. This place gives me the creeps. What's there here to give you the creeps? Wind howling all the time, enough to drive you crazy. Weird rocks and shrubs. Just don't like it, that's all. You got the feeling I'm... What? You got the feeling I what?
Now, never mind. Come on, Jack. No, no, no. What is it? I'm curious. All right, I got the feeling I'm being watched. Well, surely you don't think Jack and I are keeping... No, no, down. not you and Jack. Something else. Something I can feel. Like eyes at the back of my neck. Like walking down a dark street at night with the sound of footsteps behind you. That's crazy. All right, it's crazy. Still don't like this planet. I could pilot that ship, I'd leave here right this minute. You can't. Robbie's the only one that can fly it, and he's not ready to leave, are you? Well, leave all this uranium? All right, come on, <laughs> let's get back to work. I don't see anybody watching us. I didn't see anybody either. You don't have to get wise right. about it. Take it easy. Okay, look, I'm crazy, that's all. Let's just forget it. Let's leave it at that. Now, come on, the sooner we finish this, the sooner we can get out of here. Yeah, sure, Bart. Sid, just relax. Yeah, sure. Somebody watch us. He says I need a rest. You ought to stay out of the sun. I told you not to get Let wise about it. Call her up. Listen, you guys. We got to stake out all the uranium we can find, and we don't have time for fighting. I'm going around with this counter again. Relax. I'll see you later. I need a cigarette. Where's Betsy? I... Well, I put it right up here. Where could it have Bet... All right, big boy, where is it? Where's what? My rabbit's foot. You know what I'm talking about. What did you do with it? Are you nuts or something? What do I want with your rabbit's foot? Listen, Jack, I put it right down here a minute ago. It sure as heck didn't walk away by itself. Now, where is it? Look, I told you I haven't got it. I say you're lying. What? You heard me. Now, you fork over that rabbit's foot before or I... Or what? Are you kidding me? Take another step toward me, I'll tear you in half. Now listen, Jack, I'm not kidding. I want that rabbit's foot. Betsy and me, we Betsy been and a me, long time. Betsy and me, grow up, will you? What do I want with that filthy paw? The only filthy thing around here is your fat mouth. Wait a minute, you little run. What do you what do you think you're talking about? I'm talking to you. Don't think you can scare me just because you're big. You big dumb guys are all alike. You think just because you've got a couple of months. Shut up! Another peep out of you, I'll tear you in half. Hey, I gotta take any garbage from a punk like you. That's Shut all up. I need. Shut up! Shut up! All right! Before we continue with the second act of Appointment on Mars, starring Leslie Nielsen, I'd like a very special word with you about a very special member of the Maslin Quality family. And here it is. Spindrift, a really luxurious cotton broadloom featuring an exceedingly deep pile which ensures an air of richness to every floor. Now, the pure white cotton fiber with its natural affinity for dyes, an exclusive feature of cotton carpets, makes it possible for Maslin to bring you Spindrift in a multitude of colors, ranging from soft, muted pastels to pure, clear primitives. And any one of these carefully selected shades is guaranteed to dramatize your decorative scheme and flatter your furnishings. One of the new advantages of Spindrift is its plasticized backing, right there. Not only hugs the floor and eliminates those dangerous spills, but adds to the long wear and lasting beauty of the rug. The Maslin Spindrift is vat dyed. That, of course, means color fastness for the life of the rug. And, of course, it's washable. So, for Spindrift, the ultimate in luxury cotton broadloom, visit your Maslin dealer. See for yourself. Spindrift. A handsome cotton broadloom, really very luxurious, and, by the way, very inexpensive. Only about $8.49 a square yard. Sea Spindrift, a beauty blend broadloom brought to you by C.H. Masland, makers of fine carpets for more than four generations. And now, 
Maslin presents the second act of Appointment on Mars, starring Leslie Nielsen. All right. All right, what's this all about? What's the matter with you guys? You going off your rockers? How do you expect to get anything done if you're going to fight? I'll kill him. Get him out of my sight before I kill him. Time like this is beyond me. You're acting like a couple of kids. Tell it to him, he started. I don't care who started it. Now listen, I'm telling this to both of you. You get it straight the first time. This fighting has got to stop. It's got to stop right now. Look, I want your guns. If there's going to be any fighting around here, I want to take the weapons back to the ship and lock them up. I'm not Bart. getting my gun. Come on, Bart. No, I'm telling you, Robbie. Save your breath, because you're just wasting it. You're not getting my gun. There's something on this on this place watching us, and Bart, you think I'm giving up my gun? You're mind. crazy. There's nothing out there. You're not going to get my gun! How about you? You realize all this watching business is nonsense, don't you? Yeah, sure. Good. Now give me your gun. Not while he's got his. Them fellas, we came here together, you remember? We're the first ones, the only ones to do it. There's uranium here, tons of it. Now, can't you see if you're going to fight? You're getting no place fast, Robbie. This gun stays with Papa. All right. All right, keep your lousy guns. Let's go and eat and turn in. We could all do with a little rest. Just forget about everything, all right? Get a good night's rest. Everything will look better in the morning, you'll see. Yeah, sure. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night. I see a Martian out there. Get away from me! Martin, Get away from me! Out there. Yeah, I can see a Martian. I see a Martian! Put up your gun! Yeah, there he is! Look out! Bart! Bart! No! No! Bart! Put up your gun! No, get away from me, Robbie! We gotta get him! Got to get him! Bart! You Martian! Get your hands up! Bart! Oh, you shouldn't have done it, Robbie. You shouldn't have. Bart. Bart. 
the gun. Just went off. You're lying. You killed him. What? You shot him down in cold blood. I saw it. Jack, you got this all wrong. No, I haven't. I can see it now. It's taken me a long time. It's finally dawned on me. But Jack, can't you see? Shut up. I'm wise to your whole stinking scheme. Brother, were we suckers? I don't know what you're talking That's about. A good summary. Captain Robert Malcolm, Mama's little helper. You were going to protect me and Bart from each other, weren't you? Give me your guns, boys. I'll take care of them. Yeah, you'd have liked that, wouldn't you? Listen, I wanted those guns because yeah, you... Yeah, sure, were... you had it all figured, didn't you? Get the guns and the rest would be easy. Take off. Leave us here dead. What do I want to kill you and Bart for, Uranium, Jack? Uranium, you... Captain. Uranium. Oh, Jack, Tons of it. Sensible. Enough to make you a king. You didn't want to cut it up three There's ways. There's more than enough you. here for the three of us. What do I want to cut you and Bart out for? Because some guys are like that. Never can get enough. Brother, what a sweet scheme. Well, it's not going to work, pal. What do you mean? You're going to teach me how to fly that ship. I couldn't. I would take... I don't care what it takes. You're going to teach me everything there is to know. Jack, that's impossible. It would take you months to even learn the controls. And then after that, there's astrogation. All right, get going. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, you get the idea, Robbie. Yeah. I teach you to fly, and what then? You take off and leave me behind. Yeah, sure, sure. That's it, isn't it? Then who gets it all? You do. That business with the headache. The way you were betting Bart. Leading him on till they cracked ah, up. Shut That's... up. You're not talking your way out of this. Get over to that ship. Come on, now. Move, Robbie. Okay. That's the way you want it. than we expected, Craig. Yes, Ron. It was almost too easy. Such simple minds to invade. The little one, the one you took the charm from, he suspected for a while. But fortunately, he was the weakest of the lot. Well, they're all gone now. Do you think more will come, Ron? I doubt it, Craig. Come, shall we have a look at their ship? <laughs> It may prove interesting. <laughs> and so we end another Tale of Tomorrow, Appointment on Mars, starring Leslie Nielsen. But before I tell you about next week's program, I'd like to show you another wonderful Maslin Beauty Blend Broadloom from the Maslin Mills. And here it is, Cantata. A Wilton weave, which means that the yarn is woven right through to the back, guaranteeing extra long wear. Now, the secret of quality in Cantata is in the hidden cushion of yarn under the pile, and the pile itself is anchored forever. Cantata is really luxurious. It features a sculptured design in two pile heights for extra decorating value, with a texture of heavy grow point. Cantata is available in several delightful colors, especially selected to complement your room and easily adaptable to contemporary living. The lovely sculpture design of Cantata is highlighted in dark and light green, gray, beige, beaver, and cardinal red. Cantata is a wonderful buy, about 10.95 a square yard, and it's available in widths up to 12 feet. Drop in at your Maslin dealer soon and ask to see Cantata, a Maslin Beauty Blend Broadloom brought to you by C.H. Maslin and Sons, makers of fine carpets, since 1866. What lies beyond the earth? Is it possible that for everything on earth there is an exact counterpart on some distant planet? Will you be on hand next week when Tales of Tomorrow presents The Duplicates, a strange, exciting story of the future starring Darren McGavin and brought to you again by C.H. Maslin and Sons, makers of Maslin Beauty Blend Broadlooms and authentic hunting and fishing clothes.
Rocket through the courtesy of the American Rocket Society and Reaction Motors. The United States Coast Guard presents A Career for Men. Yes, there's a real career for you in the Coast Guard, a career full of action in the service that has served mankind since 1790. You'll find the Coast Guard always ready for any emergency. Its ships, cutters, planes are always on the alert. You'll live a full, active, worthwhile life in the Coast Guard. There are big jobs in the Coast Guard, too, jobs with responsibility for men who are looking ahead. You can learn a new trade like electronics or mechanics and many others. Best of all, there's lifetime security in the service that serves mankind. The Coast Guard's pension plan will pay a chief petty officer, for example, $185 monthly for life after retiring on 30 years service. Yes, look into the Coast Guard today. Check your Coast Guard recruiting office about a career in the service that serves mankind, the United States Coast Guard. Don't forget to look in again next week, same time, when Tales of Tomorrow presents the duplicates starring Darren McGavin. Brought to you again by C.H. Maslin and Sons. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in New York, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.